Hi, my name is Chris Palmer. In this segment, we're going to talk about how to use pneumatic finish nailers. For trim work or any kind of fine finish work, it's really nice to have a few different types of finish nailers. Some standard ones that you might have are a 15 gauge angled nailer, such as this one. This will shoot up to a two and a half inch nail. And the nails are pretty strong and they have a small head on them. So you can shoot in your baseboard or your door trim right through the drywall with these type of nails. That same door trim that you shot in through the drywall with your angled nailer, you want to use an 18 gauge nailer for the wood to wood contact or shooting the trim into the jam. This this is a smaller nail. It leaves less of a head, uh, less of a hole because it's got a smaller head. Uh, this shoots up to an inch and a quarter. And here's another handy option. This is a stapler, also an 18 gauge. And for when uh, you can live with a larger hole, like maybe something that's not uh, as visible or something that you're going to fill, you can go ahead and use the stapler. To use the finished nailers, you decide what length fastener you want. Here's some inch and a halfs. This tool loads from the bottom. You push the nail all the way up and then pull back the spring-loaded catch. Now that gun is loaded. All of the nailers have the safety feature of this tip needs to be depressed in order for the gun to fire. So you would push the safety tip down on your work. Be very careful of the angle that you're pointing the gun at this point. If you're a little bit off, your nail might come through the side and that'll leave a blemish on a, on a finished face. Or maybe you need to catch something over there, in which case you want that angle. Either way, be conscious. Whatever way this is pointing, that's the way that nail is going to fire. If you are toenailing like this, it won't sink the head below the surface of the work. You'll have to come back and hit that with a nail set. If you're going straight in, that will sink the head below the surface of the work for you. And a lot of the guns have um, adjustments uh, for how deep that nail is set. This, this knob here uh, rolls the tip. Uh, in or out and that determines how deeply the nail gets set. So let's say I wanted to nail this trim around a door. Um, I'd line it up in place. I'd push my gun firmly against the work. The tip is depressed. The angle is how I like it and I just pull the trigger one time. That's all there is to it. You can see that nail is set below the surface. Thanks for watching. My name is Chris Palmer. That's how you use finished nail guns.